boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. NFL week number three. What have we learned from these first two weeks? I don't know. I know I didn't add up week two numbers, so I have no clue what I did. I've already done it, so I haven't added up, so we'll do weeks two and three next week. So, and it looks like I lost Monday night game, I lost the Sunday night game. I'm 0-2 on uh, Thursdays, so not doing so hot right now. Um, there's some bad football teams. Um, so Thursday night we have NFC West matchup. We have the Los Angeles Rams at 1-1 one one versus the San Francisco 49ers at 0-2. 49ers have scored an average of 6 points a game. And that's bad. Um, versus the one and one Rams. Uh, Rams are favored by two points on the road on a Thursday night. We have this garbage. Um, I guess the Rams win. They cover the two. And I am taking taking over on the forty. The Rams have scored thirty average in thirty three points a game. They scored 46 in the opener, so they scored 20 last week, and they're giving up 18 points a game. I guess I'll take the over. I don't know what to do on that one. But anyway, so yeah, Ravens won on Thursday night. Woohoo, what a garbage game that will be. Um, the first London game of the year, we have the 2 0 Baltimore Ravens versus the Jacksonville Jaguars at 1 1. Uh, Ravens defense giving up 10 points so far this year. Uh, five points a game average, so that's awesome. Um, Baltimore's favored by three and a half. Uh, they're considered the road team. Um, I do have Baltimore winning, going to 3 0, and I kind of cover the three and a half and under on 39. Next, we have the 2 0 Denver Broncos versus 1 1 Buffalo Bills. Uh, Broncos defense coming up 19 points average in a game this year. Buffalo's averaging up, giving up 10 and a half. So, this should be a pretty, pretty Defense-oriented game, I believe. Denver's favored by three. I'm taking. I'm having them cover. I'm taking. Put over on the forty. We'll stick with that. Hey, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, right? Um, so I'm over on the forty. I wrote it down for some odd reason. Next, we have the New Orleans Saints 0-2 versus the 2-0 Carolina Panthers. The Carolina defense this year is looking stout, averaging, giving up three points a game, average, while their offensive scoring 16 points a game. So, against the Saints, who can't stop anyone at 0-2, Carolina's favored by 5.5 at home. I got them winning, covering, and under under 48. Next, we have the 2-0 Pittsburgh Steelers versus the 0-2 Chicago Bears. Is it time for Mitch Trubisky yet? Um, defense giving up 26 points, offense scoring 12 for the Bears. Steelers averaging 23.5 a game. I got them winning, covering their 7 points. And then under on the 45. Next, we have the 2-0 Atlanta Falcons versus the 1-0 Detroit Lions. Uh, Falcons are favored by three on the road. I got them winning. I got them covering. I'm taking over on the 49. I think uh, Stafford and Matt Ryan will uh, light up the scoreboard a little bit there. Next, we have the game that no one wins. It'll end in a tie. We have the 0-2 Cleveland Browns versus the 0-2 Indianapolis Colts. Uh, two franchises absolutely going nowhere. Andrew Luck needs to be traded from Indianapolis and go somewhere where he could possibly win. Whew. So, two just got off of franchises right now. Um, the Browns have averaged 14 points a game, while the Colts have averaged 11 points a game. The Colts defense has been getting up average of 31 points a game. Cleveland is not scoring that. They've scored, they haven't scored that all year. Uh, Cleveland's favored by one. <laughs> I'm picking Cleveland to win. I got them covering the one point. Obviously, they have to cover the one point or they lose. Or it's a tie. I'm taking under on 40 and a half. Um, the best thing for that game is just to end the tie. It's going to be a garbage game. If you're a fan of Cleveland now or Indy, I'm sorry. It's a garbage team right now. Um, nothing personal. <laughs> Uh, it's garbage. Um, next, we have the one which I don't have a team, so you can't say, well, what's your team? You know, 
but I don't personally have 18 that I follow. I follow players. I follow what I do here. So I have my fantasy teams, which I'm 2-0 in one league, 1-1 in one league, and 0-2 in one league. So blowing that one out, ain't I? Um, so next we have Tampa Bay Buccaneers 1-0 versus the 1-1 Minnesota Vikings. Um, Minnesota is favored by 3.5 at home. Taking the Buccaneers. Um, they won the eight in their first game of the year, 29-7. Um, giving them three and a half, a cover, and I'm taking under under 44. Uh, next, we have the Houston Texans at one and one versus the New England Patriots at one and one. Uh, the last time that Tom Brady's team gave up 40 or uh, 41 points to Kansas City on Monday night, they won like eight straight after that. Um, they gave up 42 on Thursday night to open the season. Okay, they won last week. Um, Tom Brady's started the season with a loss and won the Super Bowl, what, three times, four times? So, taking New England to win, uh, the spread's a little much for me. 13 for New England at home? I guess because Patriots are scoring 31 a game and Houston has no offense. They're scoring 10 points a game. Um, so, again, New England winning. I got Houston covering the 13. I'm taking under the 43 and a half. Next, we have the Miami Dolphins at 1-0 versus the big pile of stinky garbage, the New York Jets at 0-2. Um, eh, really not the worst franchise around. They've scored 16 points average a game. Miami is favored by 6.5. I get them winning, covering, and under under 41.5. Next, we have the... Really can't call them a football team. The New York Giants, 0-2. They've not scored an offensive touchdown all year. They've gone seven straight games dating back to last year where they've scored less than 20 points. They've averaged six and a half points a game on uh, points scored. They've given up 21 and a half average. The Eagles scoring 25 points a game. In Philadelphia, the Eagles are one and one this year, and they're favored by six at home. I got them covering, winning, and under on the 43 and a half. Next, we have the Seattle Seahawks. Want to know what happened to Russell Wilson? Ten points a game? Oof. Versus the Tennessee Titans, 1-1. One one. Um, Tennessee's favored by three. I got them winning, covering, and under on the 43. Two franchises going in polar opposite. Actually, no, they're both kind of in the same position right now. We have the 0-2 Cincinnati Bengals and 1-1 one one Green Bay Packers. If Green Bay can get out of a game with no injuries, that would be awesome. Um, Andy Dalton, um, is he done? I mean, did he forget how to throw a football? Did he forget to how to score points? Not nine points they've scored, average of four and a half a game. They're 0 and 2. Um, the defense is not bad, giving up 16 and a half. Green Bay is favorite by eight and a half at home. I got them winning covering. I'm taking under under 44 and a half. We have the 2-0 Kansas City Chiefs versus the 0-2 Los Angeles Chargers, who can't even sell out a 20, 30,000 seat soccer stadium. The NFL moved the St. Louis Rams to LA, the L uh, San Diego Chargers to LA. They let the Oakland Raiders move to Vegas because of because it's in the NFL. Um, St. Louis had money on the table from the state to help the billionaire Stan Kroenke build a stadium. City helped finance stadium. He said no to $400 million to build his thing in LA because the NFL wanted two teams in LA, the biggest market in the country. They were selling tickets in St. Louis. They can't sell $6 tickets in LA. How in the hell are they going to fill the new stadium? Chargers were charging $100 for parking. For parking. But San Diego wasn't good enough to keep their team. St. Louis wasn't good enough to keep their team. So now, the reason both teams initially left L.A. was because, that's right, they weren't selling tickets. So do the Rams get to move back to St. Louis in five years when they're not selling tickets? Do the Chargers get to move back to San Diego when they're not selling tickets in L.A.? 
What about Oakland and I think Oakland are gonna just kill it in Vegas, but <sighs> Kansas City favored by three on the road. I got them winning covering an under under forty six and a half. On Sunday night, speak of the devil, the Oakland Raiders, two and zero versus the Washington Redskins one and one. This could be a very high scoring game. Kirk Cousins, Derek Carr. I mean this game could be some points on the board. And Oakland's very by three on the road. I got them winning, covering. I'm taking over on the 54. On Monday Night Football, we have the 1-1 one one Dallas Cowboys versus the 1-1 one one Arizona Cardinals. Neither team is scoring much. Defenses are so-so. Dallas favored by three. I got Dallas winning, covering. I'm taking under on the 47. So that will wrap up week three of the NFL football season. Make sure you check out Robert Sports Show for week four of the NCAA college football season. Make sure you check out Robert Sports Show if you're a NASCAR fan for the NASCAR Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series playoff preview, the NASCAR Xfinity Series playoff preview, the NASCAR Craftsman Camping World Truck Series, or sorry, the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series playoff preview, the, review, the preview of each each and every race throughout the chase, or the playoffs, excuse me, um, round one of the playoffs for the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. I picked Martrex to win, Martrex won. Let's see what happened. Check out the uh, ISM Connect 300 from New Hampshire, the preview of that to see who I picked to win there. And check out the WWE SummerSlam preview, probably Friday, Saturday. And then on Monday, check out, or not SummerSlam, the No Mercy preview. Check out the No Mercy review sometime on Monday. Um, check out the May Young Classic if you're a WWE fan. Um, a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of videos on Robert Sports Show. Um, as always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. I'm your host. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show. Your YouTube leader in sports channel content.